right, can anyone in this class finish this equation for me? Ah, Calvin, earlier than usual, why don't you finish this equation for me? Well, first you set both sides of the equation equal to one another, and then find the variable, um, substitute the known information with the variable, and then from there it's simple math. I'm pretty sure the rest of you guys could figure it out. <clears throat> You're correct. your best friend worry all the time. I don't recall saying yes to lunch together. Come on, you always eat alone. It's not healthy, you know. You should make some friends. <sighs> friends? Friends are just people that get jealous easily or hate you for being different. I don't hate you. Eventually you will, just like everyone since after middle school. They haven't been friends longer than we had. I'm staying. I'm your friend. Look, you are bothering me right now, so please leave. But no matter how hard you push me away, I will always be your friend. Oh. Hi. You must be Calvin. I've heard a lot about you. Who are you? Desmond. I'm new here. I tend to move around from place to place. Uh, okay. Hey. You seem bored. Wanna be friends? We could hang out, check out other classrooms. I don't need any friends, and why would I want to go do that? Trust me, it'll be fun. All right, let's go. I'm curious as to what you consider fun. But I don't want to make any new friends. Oh, well, at least I get to meet someone. Let's go into this room. And that's just Miss Abby's class. She teaches French. Not anymore. How the hell did you do that? Well. Ooh, let's play a game first. I love games. If you can answer the teacher's question correctly first, I will explain everything to you. All right. Sounds easy enough. Just to warn you, students don't raise their hands in this room. Uh, what do you mean? You'll see. But before we do anything, we have to sign this contract first. Contract? Why? You and I cannot continue until we sign it. It's how I do things. All right. I'll sign it. Do you have a pen? No, you just put your hand on top of the signature and it does it for you. What the hell? How'd you do that? It's part of the process. We are now bound by our words, so rest assured, if you win, I am legally bound to explain everything to you. Interesting. All right, let's go. All right, class, what is the first law of Newton? New student. The first law of Newton is that an object at rest tends to stay at rest. Correct, good job. Wow, pretty smart. Usually takes people longer to figure out the convention. You know, I, I like you. I'm pretty oh, impressed no, no, about no, this. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I beat you. Now, can you tell me what the hell is going on? Uh, 
right, all right, sorry. We'll, we'll go outside. I'll explain everything. Calvin, I'm not human. I am what is known as a gatekeeper. I kind of figured that you weren't human. What's a gatekeeper? And what do you want from me? I don't want anything from you. My job as a gatekeeper is to take unwanted people such as yourself, no offense, on multi-dimensional adventures. Dimensions? Yes, dimensions. So, Calvin, do you want to explore other dimensions? I know you hate yours. True. I didn't like mine. All right, let's go. Excellent. Let me explain a few rules from the contract before we begin. As mentioned before, it is physically binding between the gatekeeper, myself, and the client, you. The first rule is, power is transferred through physical contact. You would have the same power as I to travel between dimensions. I don't feel anything. You won't feel anything, but you now have the same power as me. Second rule, you are not allowed to travel anywhere else besides classrooms, simply because I do not have jurisdiction in other areas of a dimension. Why? That seems inconvenient. Well, there are other gatekeepers who provide the same services as I, and I cannot interfere with their work. I know, inconvenient and not the most exciting adventure, but it's better than sitting in your boring and current dimension, and it's a classroom, so you'll learn a lot, and it's fun watching all the different conventions. So all I gotta do is change a number like you did on the classroom, and then different dimension? Yes. The hallways here are corridors to other dimensions. One final rule. Don't interact with people in other dimensions. You know, worry about that. I don't like people too much. All right, let's go. Excellent. Can any of my asshole students translate this sentence? Mi nombre es, soy un puto, y tu eres un pendejo. Aha, uh -huh, Alex. Yes, Faltar, the translation is, hi, my name is Alex, and I'm a slut, and you're a bitch. No, you're wrong. You're beyond fabulous. Oh, you said the F word. That kind of language will not be tolerated in my classroom. Get out. You guys are all beautiful. Get out. Uh, curse you? Oh, fuck up. Come on. Come on. Desmond. Desmond, why isn't my power working? I'm sorry, Calvin. It's only temporary. I'm ready to go home. Go home? But you signed the contract. It's out of my control. I'm just doing my job. What do you mean? 
I mean, my job as a gatekeeper is to purge a dimension of its least liked people. I'm I'm supposed to keep you here till you go crazy, and then start you in here. I don't like it. It makes me feel lonely interacting with mindless people. Well, <clears throat> well then don't put me in there. It's that simple. It's not simple. Look, I have to go. I have to get back to work. Wait, wait. Uh, we could be. Uh, we could visit other dimensions together. We could be friends. You didn't want friends. No, I can't do that. My boss checks on me regularly. Uh, listen, uh, you could put me in here when your boss comes. Hmm. Never thought of that. A friend. My first friend. Keeping him here would be hard, and that would be against the rules, but I'd have my first friend. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's be friends. All right, on one condition. You have to beat me in the game that you introduced us to when we first changed dimensions. And if I win, you have to take me home. But if you win, I'll be your friend. <laughs> You know that game is impossible. I know all the dimensions and I let you win the first time. I know, I know. But no, it's the only way that you're gonna take this deal. How can I trust you? What will guarantee to me that you will be my friend? Uh, I'll sign another contract and it will say that if you win, I have to be your friend. But if I win, you have to take me home. Hmm. All right. But the dimension will be random. All right. Here's the new contract. Oh, it's on your shirt. Oh, thank you. You're acting like a great friend already. This will be a great friendship. Are you ready? Yep. Give up, Calvin. There's an infinite number of dimensions, and I know them all by heart. You can't win. Um, what is the answer to this question? Yes, you, new student. The answer is 40. Not, not you. The, the other new student. I honestly don't know what you're doing. The answer is 42. What? No! Why'd he pick you? This is dimension 210. Shh! You're in class right now. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, there's dimension 103. I changed it. How? I didn't give you my power. You cheated. Rule number one of the contract. Mere physical content grants me your power temporarily. I didn't cheat. I changed the room randomly, and that's fair game. And luckily, it happened to be a dimension that I knew. Bullshit. You cheated. You cheated. I didn't cheat, Desmond. You lost. Now take me home. You know I don't have to listen to you. I can make you stay here forever. Desmond, we both signed the contract. Now take me home. Hey, uh, you can visit me anytime. Really? Yeah, uh, we can get lunch together. Why would we get lunch together? Maybe we, friends get lunch together. Friends. Yeah. Friends do get lunch together. <laughs>